Hello YouTube, I'm Metagross Freak. Um, I'm coming to you live from, okay, sort of live. I'm coming to you mostly live from my t camera phone because I thought it'd be fun to do a uh, tour of my house, or not necessarily my house, but my room because the rest of my house you probably don't care about because it's not really mine, it's all my parents' stuff. But everything in the room, okay, Almost everything in the room is mine. In, the, in, in my room is mine. So let's uh, let's take a quick look. Um, over here is my bathroom. Not really gonna do much for it, but I do have a uh, a Dalek hanger saying "Danger! Do not enter unless you want to be exterminated." Um, mostly because it's like, hey, state of my bathroom. There's a linen cabinet. That's my parents because for some reason we have to store all of our leftover and extra towels and stuff in my room. Um, Dalek nightlight. Unfortunately, because of the way it is angled, the light from the window doesn't come in enough to turn off the light. So that literally has been on for like eight months straight. Um, here's my whiteboard. I have a bunch of markers, a bunch of pins and doodads. The picture on the top left is of my nieces. Um, you've probably recognized that Dark Cry card from a video I did, as well as some various different keychains and uh, pins from other videos I've done. Uh, there's a poster of uh, Nisa Ravane from uh, Magic the Gathering, and uh, uh, Machine of Fortress, uh, both of which I got, both of those I got from Dex that I got um, a while back. Uh, whiteboard, fairly empty right now, basically just reminding me that my schedule will be changing soon. Um, that list is for basically tax refund things. And then here is the main room. Now, in case you're thinking that my room looks larger than most rooms, uh, you're, you're technically right. My room is, I believe it's about either 12 by 12 or 14 by 14. So I, I had a larger room than most of you likely did. Um, not only that, but, you know, my closet and my vanity are a separate part. You know, there, there's my closet, and then there's the closet that my mom stores stuff in. I used to have, like, Winnie the Pooh stickers on my walls when I was a little kid, and we took them off, and then they left, like, horrible, you know, blemishes in the paint. So, we kind of just leave this one on, because I don't go in that closet. I mean... I can if I want to, but the only thing in here is like, you know, wrapping paper, uh, white elephant gift stuff, and some clothing my mom hasn't worn in like a decade. Uh, but here's my room, and starting off right in the middle of my room is my bed, and Shadow. Shadow's appeared in a large number of videos. He's my baby. Um, I got, we got Shadow when I was in, I believe, seventh grade? Wow, that was a long time ago. That was uh, ten, a little over 10 years ago. No, nope, no, no, about 12 years ago. Uh, the other cat, Ellie, uh, she was in here a minute ago, but she she disappoofed. Uh, but in the, starting off, I'm gonna go clockwise around my room. Uh, here's my dresser, which has uh, not as much stuff as you'd think. I mean, it does have a lot of stuff, but it's mostly shirts. I don't wear very often, uh, you know, underwear, socks. Um, most of my stuff is in my closet, to be honest. Um, really, I could probably have a night, uh, like a dresser about half this size and be able to hold everything I need. And I just have a bunch of kind of crap on it. Um, most of this stuff is <laughs> it's not even really stuff I need. Like I have some books I'm gonna send a friend. Um, the the purple box there. Oops, I sorry, I forgot about where the where the camera was. The purple box there has all my receipts that I save in case I need them. Um, there's my 3DS and my alarm clock and uh, some coupons to Denny's that I got and my phone charger. So yeah, like I don't really need all this room. I just kind of have a big dresser. And then hey, look another mirror that I never use. Like I literally only use this mirror, like. I don't know. I, I never really use it. I don't know why it's there. And there's a really old photo of me and my sister. Uh, that is me when I think I was just about a year old. And my sister when she was about 10 years old. And then I have a framed Bioshock shirt because it used to be my favorite shirt back when I was super into Bioshock. 
So I got a frame that holds shirts. As you can see, it's kind of junky. Um, back over to the top of my bed. Um, another picture of my nieces. Um, usually this plastic wine glass holds some headphones, but I guess I... Oh, I have them over on my desk right now. Uh, there's a Dr. Pepper, which I am currently drinking. Um, as well as the Sans plushie I have, uh, I found it, I, I made it off of a video off of YouTube. Um, a little dark gray plushie which appeared in a video. Um, a little plushie in the back that my friend Sydney gave me. A, uh, a little, a, a cat bug which I got from Hot Topic years back, back when, you know, Bravest Warriors actually made episodes. And... A, uh, a little nutcracker, which my mom is constantly trying to pilfer off of me um, because my mom's super into nutcrackers and to me this nutcracker represents the one like good story I have about Boy Scouts. Uh, I was in Boy Scouts from third grade all the way through seventh grade. Um, it doesn't seem like it, it was that long, but let me see. Third, one, two, three, six, seven. Yeah, I was in Boy Scouts for five years and I don't really have a lot of positive memories of it, unfortunately. But uh, that this this little guy here represents the good memories I had. Um, so I, I keep him around. Plus, he also used to smell like hot chocolate. He doesn't anymore, but he used to. And then here I have my Fluttershy plushie. She's appeared in a couple of videos. I have a brush right there to comb her hair, even though I've never used it. And then that stack of like envelopes of like Manila envelope portfolio things. Um, that is supposed to be. Um, artwork I had made during high school, but I've kind of forgotten about it. I should really go through that. There's my lamp, which you may have seen in a couple different videos. That was my lamp I got for, for college. As you know, I've had it previous to college. Um, here's a Lego table. I used to use this Lego table a lot. As you can see, it's pretty empty. There is a shoe box on it that has some Lego pieces that my nieces were using to build stuff, but they take things apart every, every now and then. So right now it's currently empty. Um, and then there's my Rainbow Dash head backpack thing. Um, I've actually taken the straps off of it because I can't wear it as a backpack. I was using it as like a, like a cushion for a while, but I think I'm mostly gonna use it as a throw pillow once I have like a couch or something of my own. Um, moving on, there's uh, some, uh, some old, kind of forgotten boxes with Hot Wheels in them. Actually, they're kind of like more like briefcases, but they have Hot Wheels in them. Um, I, I, even though I touched them a couple months ago, they basically have just sat there for, you know, almost two decades, because I don't really play with cars anymore. Or at least, or I don't play with Hot Wheels anymore. I play with cars, just, you know, cars that turn into robots. Um, there are my shelving units, which I, those I got for college. Those have a ton of, houseware things in them. I don't really want to go through those, but you know, like bowls, staplers, oven mitts, Brita filters, you know. Um, this big container has basically all my Gen 1 Bionicle stuff, or most of my Gen 1 Bionicle stuff, as well as a number of my favorite figures, and it has Gen 2 Bionicle boxes, because for some reason I decided to keep those. Um, there I have some Gen 1 Bionicle canisters, that I got from my friend Paul. Uh, I decided to keep them for reasons. Uh, and here are some shelving units which have a um, lot more Bionicle pieces as well as some Lego bricks. As well as other things like uh, I have you know, some Transformers. These are some of my favorites that are in here. My favorites that aren't displayed that is. Um, I have my, the Toa, the Toa Superiors that I built. Uh, I have a whole album on my Bionicle section on my channel if you want to check that out, as well as some other shelves of just like My Little Pony, uh, you know, Amiibo, uh, Pokemon. I have some Bakugan in here. I should do a video on Bakugan. I bet you guys would like that. Uh, some other Lego stuff. I don't really go into these drawers very often except for the Transformer drawer. I really should clear out a drawer or two in order to store all my other Transformers, because I, in this last year, have received a lot more Transformers, or have bought more Transformers. Um, in this corner, I know it looks like a hulking mass of crap, and that's because it is. All of this stuff is stuff I'm going to donate. It's mostly shirts. There is some shorts, though, and there's some toys I outgrew or 
never used. Um, and then over here is my Lego Harry Potter castle, which I haven't touched in probably about 10 years as well. And a bunch of boxes for storing things, including, as you can see, a preview of Leader Class Soundwave. I, uh, in the time I'm making this video, I have not uploaded my Leader Class Soundwave video. Uh, here you can see my storage for my CCBS parts. I did a video on this as well with my Pohatu Superior, because Pohatu is my favorite of the six Toa in both generations, as well as my um, my Chalcedony Mach. I did a video on her as well. Uh, over here I have a couple different books. I have Volume 1 of Death Vigil, uh, The Killing Joke, which I for some reason haven't read yet. I need to get around to reading that. Um, I have The Sacrifice and other Steam Power Stories, as well as my folder for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, basically that's my just display folder, though I need to clear that out because I have some trades in it. Uh, over here I have uh, Jax and two different Nautiluses. I received, actually I got, uh, I think I did a video on both of those. And in the back I have what's left of my manga collection. I gave a lot to my oldest niece, Tegan. Um, I have volumes 1 and 37 of Naruto, volume 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh, volumes 1 through 14 of Kurohime, because, and I, I would have had, I would have the rest of the series, but volumes... 15 through I believe it's 20 were never actually published in English and then uh, The Rise of Dark Cry manga Nization, and Volume 3 of the Diamond and Pearl Adventure mostly because it has a section on Deoxys and Then here you can see my favorite Autobot figures. I have uh, Voyager Grimlock, Voyager Hound, Voyager Prime um, Straw, uh, de deluxe, uh, sorry, actually it's Warrior, not Deluxe. Uh, warrior Strong Arm, Warrior Windblade. Um, that, I've done videos on all those, check them out. Uh, here I have some more, I have some random books and stuff, but I have uh, my I have my Pokemon and Magic and My Little Pony folders uh, there, as well as just some like, posters that I'm storing. Nothing really interesting down below, other than just like some old notebooks that I need to get rid of. Uh, here's my desk situation. So whenever you see me do a video of like a transformer or a mock or whatever, I am doing it on this desk and I usually have my computer scooted all the way back to the very, very back of that uh, that backboard so I can have as much desk room as possible. Here I have my, uh, here I have some old textbooks. I decided to keep some textbooks from college, mostly science ones, because if I ever decide to go into teaching instead of working at the tech museum, well, I'm gonna need some resources, and I don't know. I just kind of like keeping these. It reminds me of my college days. I miss college. I have a lot of friends there that I don't get to see very often anymore. Uh, here I have Harry Potter books that I need to get rid of because I haven't touched them again in about a decade, as well as my Mangle collection, my, my Mangle slash Funtime Foxy. I have a bunch of those, and I have a little figure of Nisa that I got from my friend Josh. Um, don't really have anything else to say about that. Uh, some of my favorite books up here, I have given some away, but this is again kind of a tangle of junk that I need to clean out. Uh, over on this shelf I have my Funko Pops, well most of them I have, a Jawa that's a bobblehead down there, but uh, he doesn't really fit on the shelf right now. I do realize I have an extra space open. But I'm reserving that space to get an amethyst figure. Let me move my desk chair out of the way so I can actually get in here. Uh, here I have my Claptrap and my Commando Claptrap. And my Nick Valentine, he was a recent acquisition. Uh, my T, I believe that's T60 power armor, as well as a laser rifle. And then I have my Funko Pops for Steven Universe. I have a Garnet. Lack of an amethyst. I'm using this little tiny figure as a fill-in for now. Amethyst, Pearl, and Steven! And then Lapis and Peridot. And then here I have a couple smaller figures. I have a Garnet, Lapis, Amethyst, Steven. And then here I have Alpine Drift. Um, I thought about putting Alpine Drift on that shelf, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, I kind of liked having him over here just because it helps feel in that corner. And then up here I have uh, two more bobbleheads that are Fallout related, and that's the Intelligence and Charisma related to bobbleheads. I like those, those are fun. I kind of wish I could put the, put 
these Funkos up top. That way the Fallout stuff is all together, but then the laser rifle would have to either be awkwardly up here or it'd have to like suspend it. It's, it's fortunate. And then here I have my entire collection of sound waves. I will go over all of these briefly uh, right now because I want to kind of go over all of them in a video separately. But here we have, we have Robots in Disguise, Warrior Soundwave, we have uh, R.I.D. Activator Soundwave with Laser Beak, uh, Re Revenge of the Fallen, Legends Class Soundwave, uh, Titans Return, uh, Leader Class Soundwave, which I, I believe I'm, I, which I'm uploading a video of basically as we speak. Uh, we have Voyager Soundwave from Cybertron with Laserbeak, as well as uh, Cyberverse, aka Legends Soundwave again from Cybertron. We have a War for Cybertron Deluxe Soundwave and Transformers Animated Deluxe Soundwave with Laserbeak. However, I also have the Rat, back, rat Bat from the Sound Blaster one. Uh, it's a long story why I have this figure, but basically the long, the, the short version of it was the person who previously owned this figure did not take good care of his toys. And I told him, I was like, hey, if you don't take good care of your toys, I'm going to take this. And he was like, fine, do it. So I did. And uh, he never complained about it. So uh, that's how I got a rat bat. And oh yeah, as you can see, there's the two lamps I use. If you're wondering why I have such terrible lighting in my videos, it's because I just use a desk lamp. I don't have studio lights or anything. Uh, here are two masks. The one on the left, this Tengu mask, I actually used, did a video on. I got this from my roommate of three years, Shukita. Um, so that, those are, those are, that's basically my remembrance of him being my roommate. And then this mask I made, uh, it, for those of you who are in the My Little Pony fandom, you may recognize this as resembling Rainbow Dash. And if it doesn't resemble Rainbow Dash to you, well, that's okay. Um, but I made this back in 11th grade. Oh no, it was, I think it was 11th grade, right when I, 11th or 12th grade, when I first got into My Little Pony, I made it because I wanted to make a tribal mask resembling My Little Pony. And here's the back side of my door. I know there are two hoodie, actually there's a hoodie and my work jacket on it, but let me take this down. You can see I have a bunch of plushies. Um, I have some Pokemon plushies like my Porygonzi and my Sylveon, both of which have appeared in videos as well as my Salty Sterlison, um, who used to hang from my wall, but she doesn't right now. Uh, I have a bunch of Pokemon plushies that I kind of need to clear out. Like, I really don't need this, that Zubat, or the Jirachi, or the Piplup, but I keep them, just because. And of course my work jacket, which I'm going to hang back up before I do this final wall. Da -da -da -da. And to finish off my tour, here is my, here's my, my, my last wall. This has, of course, my uh, bachelor's degree from California State University, Monterey Bay for environmental studies. It does have my legal name. So if you want to stalk me, there's my legal name. <laughs> Though you're not going to find it if you look me up on Facebook because I don't go by my legal name. I go by my adopted name. Uh, there's my keys for my house and for my car as well as a clock of Twilight Sparkle doing a tardy. I did a video on this. I got that from my friend Miguel, or actually he goes by Miko. And then I have these two framed pieces of artwork. Uh, for those of you who've been on my channel for a long time, you'll recognize that as Krieg the Psycho from Borderlands 2. I received this piece of artwork from my friend Nolan. Um, he actually bought it online for me. Um, as like a Christmas present and I framed it because I love Krieg and Nolan was one of my best friends in college and then over here I have a framed drawing I believe that's supposed to be Rainbow Dash uh, my friend Izzy drew it uh, Izzy was actually a friend of my first roommate in college Lucas but she drew that for me and I framed it as well so there you have it everyone there is a tour of my bedroom oh Last thing I forgot, um, over on the wall over by that Lego table, I, have done, I think I did a video on this as well. I have all my different fat pack wrappers that I have kind of in a mini mural. And I know there's a lot of open space right there, either in that open space or above my bed. 
Uh, while I'm still living here, I plan on putting a trans flag if I finally get around to buying one. So, thank you all for watching. I've been Metagross Freak, and I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my room. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!